customizing SmartArt in Excel. Now that we know how to insert SmartArt and other objects, let's learn to make them unique and actually make them stand out. You may have noticed the SmartArt Tools tab that will appear when you've inserted your SmartArt graphic. These contextual tabs are used throughout Office 2013 and newer versions, so you've seen them before and we've talked about them before. The appropriate tab will appear depending on which type of object that you've inserted or that you're working with. So working with our SmartArt object that we have here, you'll see the Design tab. There are quite a few options here. You can click on the Change Color drop-down and actually change the color from the template here. This is all based on your style and theme from your Excel spreadsheet. You can change it a little bit. And to the right of there, you can make the SmartArt either become 3D, you can angle it. There are a lot of options that you can play with here to make your SmartArt change in its appearance, to make it more becoming, more appealing. Another contextual tab that opens with SmartArt is the Format tab. The Format tab will allow you to change the font, and the borders and colors, fill, etc., and effects of the pieces of the smart art. So you can scroll through the list for the shape styles, change the color of the border, etc., use your shape fill, shape outline, and shape effects. See how this can transform your smart art? And you can use the text area, the word art styles, to change the text to a look that's predefined or you can use your text fill, text outline, and text effects to really change the image. So SmartArt using these contextual tabs allows you to really change it and make it not look like the standard SmartArt that every other person has inserted. Once you've inserted an image, the contextual tab that opens is the Format tab. Similar to what you've probably seen in Word or PowerPoint, the Format tab allows you to do some artistic or color changes and corrections with the lighting to your images that you've inserted. It will allow you to add some formatting with picture styles so it looks like an actual picture frame or it looks 3D. You can also use the picture border, picture effects, and picture layout to change some of the options about the picture. With a text box contextual tab, you have a similar contextual tab that opens called Format that will allow you to change the shape style, the fill, the outline effects, and also the same with the text, just as we did with the Pictures Format contextual tab. So now that you know how to work with SmartArt, images, pictures, text box, and shapes, and you know how to work with the contextual tabs to make these all unique to you, complete your exercise and you'll be a smart art and object expert in no time. Thank you for taking this session of Go Ask Debbie. For more tips like this one, be sure to subscribe to my channel.